Hello friends, welcome to Insight Saigon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor. Okay, so before we discuss about this particular corridor, first let us try to understand the video components. So here we are going to discuss about the context. Okay, the context is why we are discussing in today's video. Okay, of course we are discussing in today's video because recently this particular corridor it was in news in the relevant in the relevance of indian prime minister narendra modi visit to uae both india and uae they reaffirmed their commitment towards this particular project that is the reason we are discussing and of course in that particular event there was an mou also signed related to this project so because of that now we are discussing this particular topic then we'll discuss about what is this project is all about okay we'll see the map pointing that means the physical this project okay which it is connecting which part of the world to which part of the world after that we will discuss about the railway component of this project as well as the shipping component of this project we will discuss that then why this project is very significant to india after that what are the possible challenges of course you know every opportunity will come with certain cost okay so we will discuss about what are the challenges related to this particular project and finally we will draw the certain important conclusions so these are the complete you know like learning objectives related to this particular video first let us see the map of this particular corridor you know first corridor means a dedicated place corridor is a connecting link uh, or a road or a path you can call it as if you grow a lot of greenery around a particular road you can call it as a green corridor around a particular lane or if you grow or if you encourage the you know like any industries around a particular corridor or a particular link then you can call it as industrial corridor defense corridor tiger corridor or elephant corridor okay so corridor means a particular path particular path so economic corridor is also a particular path along with that path economic activities will be encouraged so that path is going to be here india middle east europe economic corridor so this is this is consist of india middle east and europe so it is connecting india with the europe okay that is the first thing we have to understand so in this process this particular corridor goes through india from india to uae and through saudi arabia till israel it is a land there is a railway link and india to uae shipping lane and from israel to again europe it is going to be the shipping lane so that means this project is consist of both railway as well as the shipping part two parts are there okay so next why this project is so significant obviously due to its convenience and second thing is this project can avoid india's dependence on suez canal you know that suez canal goes through very turbulent waters that is red sea for past so many years we are having some kind of turbulence across the red sea especially due to houthi rebels and and due to some other factors as well so we can we can bypass that red sea area through this particular project and this economic corridor along this along this corridor even we are planning electric lanes electricity lanes and natural gas lanes and the internet cables as well they are going to be there along this particular corridor so this corridor is going to offer a comprehensive a wide range of solutions and this corridor consists of two parts eastern part and the northern part eastern part of this corridor it connects india with the middle east india with the uae and the northern part of this project consists of consists of uae connection to the europe okay and one more thing is through this particular project india even india not only india mainly europe they would like to counter chinese initiative that is known as bri belt and road initiative so here you have to know some basics china proposed one infrastructure project that is known as bri okay bri china proposed this china proposed an infrastructure project that is known as bri bri consists of two components okay land component and water component land component is known as one belt one road initiative and the water component is known as maritime silk route maritime silk route maritime silk route okay then 
So, in against to this, okay, in competition to this, Europe and uh, USA mainly G7 countries, G7 countries, they came up with a plan that is known as Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment. Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment, PGII. As a part of this, as a part of this, this India, Middle East, Europe Economic Corridor. So, this particular corridor can be seen as a component of the G7 efforts towards countering of China's growing dominance on both land as well as the maritime water. You know, here one question for you, India and UAE, as we are discussing India and UAE in this video, there is one platform, there is one platform proposed by USA, which includes India, UAE, as well as Israel. Okay. So, these four countries are included in one platform. What is the name of that platform? What is the name of that platform? Next. Now, let us see. This particular project is also brings a lot of economic stability to Middle East. You know, economic stability can also discourage of, you know, like it, it can discourage the growth of terrorism and economic stability also helps to so many people to come out of the poverty. Okay. That is also advantage of this particular project. So, of course, this project is not devoid of challenges. You know, every opportunity, it comes with certain cost. This project is also having some challenges. Those challenges are, this project is landing up in UAE in the area of Strait of Hormuz. The Strait of Hormuz at this place, Iran is having major influence. So, one of the challenges, whether to take Iran into, you know, like this project or not. And one more thing is, so, Muscat, Oman, okay, Oman's Muscat is also very near to this and uh, taking Oman into this project or not, that is going to be an issue and the area which is connecting Israel and uh, Greece, this particular shipping lane, it is going through contested water. Contested water means those waters are being uh, claimed by both Greece, not only the Greece, even the, you know, Turkey as well. So, for the smooth functioning of this this part of this project, obviously we have to take Turkey into confidence as well. So, these are some of the challenges in this particular project. And one more challenge is, in the northern part, the port Haifa, it is playing very important role. This Haifa port is present in Israel and now Israel is completely occupied in the Israel-Palestine war. Okay? Now, both India and UAE, they reaffirm that even in spite of this Israel-Palestine war, the progress at this port should not be impacted. Okay? That is what both countries committed towards this particular project. And of, of course, for that, uh, we require the Israel support too. So, this is some of the details regarding this particular project. Now, let us see. And one more thing, the seeds related to this project, the origins related to this project, mainly it uh, go back to the G20 summit. In the 2023 G20 summit, this project was inception, this, the inception of this project was made. And this project can be seen as completely rival to the BRI, like I said earlier. And some of the European countries which are already part of BRI, like Italy, they announced that they are exiting BRI and they shown interest to join in this particular project. So, this kind of steps also, they add lot of credibility to this project. Now, this project consists of Eastern Corridor and Northern Corridor, I told you. What are those corridor? And this project, along this project, electricity, digital cables also runs along this project and hydrogen pipeline as well. Participants of this project, Saudi Arabia, European Union, India, UAE, France, Germany, Italy and USA. These are the participating nations of this particular project. Then, the main purpose. It can offer cost effective shipping as well as it can supplement the existing maritime maritime transportation of India and it can helps to India with respect to transportation between India and UAE, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Israel and Europe. And it can also enhance the Middle East stability like I said earlier. So now come back to the context, India and UAE on February 1st, 2024, this has signed an agreement on this particular corridor. Although the conflict in Gaza that is Israel and Palestine is there and conflict in Red Sea also 
it should not affect the ongoing progress in this particular project that is the that is the statement of both india and uae and you know that recently indian prime minister visited uae and the participating nations already we discussed and various corridors of this project also we discussed and the various modes of transport this project consists of mainly a railway mode of transport and the waterway that is shipping mode of transport as well important ports in this project very very important important ports which are going to be developed are already developed ports which are going to be take part in this project they are from india mundra kanla mumbai uae fuzera zebelali abu dhabi saudi arabia damam ras al kair israel haifa europe marseille in france messina italy and piraeus in greece if you remember marseille is one of the football team as well in france okay if you watch this league 1 it's one of the premier football tournaments there you know like you will find this football team name as well member countries at this moment these are the member nations and it can be seen as a rival okay rival to the bri and it is can be seen as a part of the partnership for global infrastructure investment this is an initiative of g7 countries significance this project is having the geopolitical significance with respect to bri and it can also reduce india's dependence on suez canal as well the significance of this project we already discussed some of the possible challenges also we discussed and what are the conclusion the conclusion is the success of this project is all depends on how diverse this project can be and how inclusive and how we can uh, include some of the countries and how all the stakeholders can get along in this project and one more is this project how financially as well as ecologically viable okay because these are the two parameters where bri was unable to address okay the financing issue as well as the sustainability issue in those issues this project has to be addressed as well now let's see a study's video question which one of the following pays are not correctly matched article 15 social and educational backward class article 22 preventive detention article 20 immunity from double punishment 16 discrimination in favor of women in service under state article 16 is the wrongly matched because in article 16 nowhere it mention about women discrimination or positive discrimination to women so article 16 is wrongly matched now let's see today's video question i to you to submit popularly known as very easy to answer put your answer in the comment section mains question china you, you know china is uh, is using its economic as well as part positive trade surplus china is using these advantage to build its military power in in asia especially regarding this what kind of uh, impact it can create in india as well as india's neighbors okay this is the today's main question and as we reached the end of this video in this particular video we discussed about the main uh, you know like elements of this particular corridor why we are discussing india and uae what they reaffirmed recently what are the two components of this project and uh, transport uh, what are the mode of transport that means railway as well as the you know like shipping element of this particular project significance of this corridor and what are the challenges associated with this corridor we discussed why this corridor is important to india so we discussed about all this particular elements regarding the india middle east europe economic corridor I hope this video finds useful to you. Thanks for watching our channel. Have a great day. Jai Hind.